Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I will be evaluating zero accounting software for Chapter 6 of the Fit Small Business case study. So, Chapter 6 deals with project accounting. Uh, so, within zero, let's go to our projects tab and to our project center. Okay, so the the uh, case study is asking us to prepare a uh, estimate for a job titled family bowling kitchen remodel. So we already have one for their bathroom. We need to create a new one for their um, family bowling for their kitchen remodel. So estimate, calculate from tasks. Let's see what this button does here. Okay, so we have so where do we add in the estimated? Okay, so we're wanting to add an estimated expense um, of the uh, contract labor for 10 hours. So let's see if we can do that. Find or choose an item. So this is contract labor. Okay, and we're estimating 10 hours. Okay, that costs us $300 and $800 is what we'll charge. Excellent, that's what we had set up in an earlier chapter when we set up the service item. So that looks great. Let's, we're gonna save this, we're gonna add another. We want 10 plumbing widgets. Okay, um, so um, plumbing widget. There we go. And we are estimating 10 plumbing widgets. Okay, and we're saying, uh, yeah, that it's gonna cost us $11 and we get to charge $25. Very good. And let's hit save. Okay. Um, now, the only thing here is what about our, we need to, it's asking us to charge 6% sales tax on the plumbing widgets. Can we do that here? So now, now we have these estimated expenses. Essentially, how do we send this out as an estimate? Probably this quote, I would imagine. Okay, so these are the things we want to put on the quote. So this is going to open a draft quote, I believe it said. Okay, yep, here we go. Nice, so this is our quote, or sometimes called an estimate, right? So this is for family bowling. Um, here we go. So now we can come in here and we can give it our New York state of New York sales tax of 6% perfect nice and now we're gonna hit send and we're gonna send them this quote for one thousand sixty five dollars okay and I'm just going to cancel it and let's save it okay now let's go to quotes okay this is still only a draft. Can we go in here and accept it? Mark is sent. OK. 
okay it's been sent and now we can probably accept it so this is uh, our client got back to us and said yep that looks like a good price we accept it so we're going to mark it here as being accepted okay so now let's go back so here's the quotes we have now let's go back to our projects tab okay now we're actually working on the project we're only going to charge them what we've told them we'll charge them but we need to record some actual expenses okay so let's see down here so it says eight hundred dollars remaining what if can we go down here and record the actual no tracked expenses okay um, add a task estimated expense okay so we've at we've done the estimated expenses now let's go in and let's put an actual expense so contract labor okay this is what we're this is the estimate so we're just tying it together with the estimate um, the estimate was for 10 hours but it, the case study is telling us it took us actually 12 hours and so that's going to calculate the actual cost to us and what you'll charge hmm but we don't get to charge more we still only get to charge $800 can I change this to eight hundred dollars yes so I changed that to eight hundred dollars let's put it back for right now I want to see if it will do it automatically okay and then let's do our widgets are an actual expense you know what I want to do this differently so this time instead of doing it from here let's just do it like we normally would so um, we're going to uh, Let's enter it as a bill. Well, no, that's not going to work uh, because we've already have the inventory. So we're going to have to go ahead and enter it in projects. Okay. So let's go ahead and add an actual expense. So plumbing widgets and our actual plumbing widgets were eight. Okay. And let's click save. Okay. Now, so the estimate was 1,050 time and expenses is 1160 okay so what does this say about our profitability okay we haven't invoiced anything yet so here it gives us the choice do we want to invoice the estimated amount or do we want to invoice what our actual are so this would depend on what our contract with the client is and I'm gonna say our contract was for the estimate so we are going to only be able to bill the estimate so let me invoice that okay and we're gonna close it okay I kinda like that the description is just kitchen remodel doesn't give them all the breakdown again they've already got the breakdown in their quote okay so let's just say approve and mark is done obviously we'd probably send it in real life okay good so now let's go to 
projects, and now let's see what it tells it, what it has for us for some comparisons of actual to estimated. Um, we closed it with the invoice, so we got to go to the close tab. Okay, so our estimate was 1,050. We invoiced it. Time and expenses were 1,160. Let's see what it tells us about our profitability. So basically shows us that we were $448 over budget. Okay. Good. Shows us our largest costs. Right. Shows us that we value of time, tasks, and expenses was 1160 Okay, so good. That shows us a good, a good comparison. So we could uh, tweak it around, get it exactly like we like it. But that's a very good, that's a very good project uh, tracking system. Okay, so let's grade it. Create an estimate. Yes. Assign the estimate to a project. Yep. Add labor. Add inventory. Add sales tax. Assign actual labor. Record actual inventory. Report. Uh, comparing actual to estimated labor and inventory. We could view that on the screen. I wonder if there's an actual report we can print as well. Okay, so the report shows us the estimated expenses of 1050 shows us the, so this is the estimated revenue, this is the estimated cost, and this is the actual revenue, total invoiced is 1050, okay, our gross profit is $602. Okay, good. So that's uh, very nice. So good project accounting again. So uh, zero, the comparison between actual and uh, estimated is very good, better than QuickBooks Online. Um, so I think the best of any of the um, general bookkeeping software that we've reviewed. Uh, there is some construction industry software that's very good, uh, but for general bookkeeping software, uh, the project estimating is is excellent. So that is chapter six for zero accounting software for the Fit Small Business case study.